but they will know us here. Yeah, uh, day 49 on the road. Oh, nearly at 50. Heading north at Arim. What's the next town we're going to this year? Ah, Pang Fang Fet. May have got that slightly pronounced wrong. We've just been done there. Not often we see other cyclists, especially Thais. They've absolutely shown us up. A good bit of speed. As you can probably see from that horrible traffic behind me, I'm now on Highway 1. We've uh, come onto this probably one of the busiest roads in Thailand in search of a hotel. We had no such luck on the rural roads, so uh, here we go. Hotel, you know, a good hotel last night. Really nice. Uh, this is all right, actually. Yeah, we stayed in an all right hotel last night, 300 baht, which is really fairly reasonable for wi quick Wi Fi, uh, aircon, and a hot shower. So, just what we needed after a long 100, nearly 100k day, 99k day. So, yeah, we're heading up to Kam Fang Fet today along the River Ping which will be interesting, so hopefully we'll have a good day. We've had a little bit of a lazy morning, so it's probably about nearly 11 o'clock, so um, we'll best get on the road. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. So today for breakfast we've gone for something a little bit different rather than going for a classic 7-Eleven stop or going to a little restaurant, we went to a little store where I had some chicken and parcels in banana leaves. In mystery banana parcel. Let's see what we've got. She's very really tightly fit. I think we've got some gluttonous rice. Oh, oh, that's good. Lucia just pointed out that this hat was on the floor. I went, where? And then rolled over it by accident. So this random wicker hat is going to become mine now. Bye bye, Mr. Catman. Hello, Mr. Wicker Man. Wicker Hat Man. <laughs> Just two of these and two of these. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yes. Is that salt? Salt, yes. Lucia is going to be absolutely livid with me because I've bought her some bugs to eat. I don't know if she's gonna eat these. She's gonna just tell me not a chance. We will see. Hello. What have you bought? What have you bought? I don't know. I'm not eating it, whatever you bought. <laughs> no. Oh, what is it? What the hell? No. Open it up. They're like crickets. 
Oh, well, have a nice dessert, Adam. Go on, let's open them up. Open it right up. Where? Right, into the bag? Yeah. Oh, maggots. Oh, you are disgusting. No way I am eating <laughs> that. Absolutely no way. Why not? I'm just not doing it. Lucia is always up for trying new things. I'm not, I'm not. Okay. She's like, right, I see some bugs, Go on, throw them at me. Get them in, get it in your car. <laughs> Go on then, get it in. Oh my god, you right. feel sick. Here he goes. Jiminy Cricket. Oh. That's alright, that. Oh, you could have stuck in your beard! <laughs> Very nice. I'll take your word for it. No, it does though. What? Chicken? Fish food. Really? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Try that. Everyone just likes to eat. No. I'm not eating it. Look. Ooh. Go on, have one. No. Please. Please. No. No. Oh, good. <laughs> not this time. Maybe in the future. I'm sticking to my guns on this one. Why? Because I just don't want to eat it. It's like going to Yorkshire and not having Yorkshire puddings. That's different. Yorkshire puddings have been flying around some maize fields. Right. Little maggot. They're delicious. I should have got a bag of them. You know what? I'm telling you now. The future of all of our meat-eating problems are in bugs. You don't need to be bothering with all this eating beef. And you can go down the street, catch yourself a, a little cricket, locust thing. What about these big ones? <laughs> Hello. I am Jiminy Locust. It's Jiminy Cricket. It's a locust, that. Oh. <laughs> How can you eat that? Right. It's all right. The other ones are nicer. Really? Yeah.